let me introduce Woody Slater. He's got a story to tell about how he came to build and run his very own bug hotel. He lived deep in the forest, hiding under some rotten logs, in amongst all the smelly dirt with the snails, the slugs and the frogs. He was kind of used to it, and he didn't really seem to mind, but he thought perhaps one day a better place to stay he could find. There were other creatures there too, so he wasn't on his own. Living in the cold, dark, wet, he would often hear them moan. There were crickets, earwigs and ladybugs, beetles and flies as well. Perhaps a new house would be too small, so instead he built the Bug Hotel. First he started with the restaurant. What a wonderful place to meet, full of shrubs, berries and vegetables and other amazing things to eat. Next he built the bedrooms and with hard work and some toil, he made them very luxurious, which beat sleeping in the soil. There also was a swimming pool, which was full right to the brim, a fun place for guests to play chill poolside or go in for a swim. There was a huge conference room for bug committee meetings, but mostly they just went to the pool, so the meetings were quite fleeting. There were rooms full of piles of leaves to make any bug feel at home, and tunnels deep underground for the ants and worms to roam. The roof was covered in landing pads for all his guests that could fly, like the bees and the wasps, and even the odd dragonfly. Woody's favourite was the games room, full of all the games he enjoyed, like Pebble Pool and Hawthorne Darts, and even a video game called Insectozoid. There was a kids' club for the larvae, run by Woody's awesome staff, where they do fantastic face paints and disco dancing for a laugh. And for the mums and daddy bugs, whose days were extremely taxing, was a spa with warm, wet mud baths which were incredibly relaxing. There was a massive play park with an enormous climbing frame, three seesaws and a flying fox, and a pitch for a football game. Crawways connected the surrounding trees, pipes of all sizes and variety, so people could visit Woody's Hotel from all levels of the canopy. The lobby was made from forest wood, with a desk in the perfect place for Woody to stand and greet his guests with his happy, smiling face. But the thing Woody was most proud of was his incredible team who'd helped with every aspect and made a reality of his dream. The leaves were cut by the caterpillars and fireflies provided the lights. The walls were joined by spider silk and the wood was cut by termites. His family prepared all the bedrooms to a perfect shiny gleam and even the dung beetles helped out by keeping all the toilets clean. Woody was the happiest little arthropod on the hotel's grand opening day when he finally cut the ribbon and welcomed his first guests to stay. It was a wonderful achievement. Didn't they all do so well? And that's just how things go at Mr Slater's Bug Hotel. <laughs>